Wow, that is so interesting. Thomas, stop it. I know that's you. Stop it or I'm telling mom. I'm doing my homework. Come on, you guys. What about the word seven o'clock do you not understand? Hi, Ava. Sorry, I'm a teensy bit late. I really wouldn't call 20 minutes late a teensy bit. You're such a stickler, Ava. I'm sorry. It's just I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. Besides this, I have two other papers I'm working on and a big science exam on Thursday. You'll be fine. You're so smart. And Kati and Noom aren't even here yet, so in a way, I'm early. I'm not so smart. I just work- Get down. What? What a pretty girl. Oh, sorry. I'm talking about your wallet. Don't take up, don't grow. Um, could we maybe focus? I'm here. Let's get this over with. And on your face? It's a cleansing mask. You know, tightens pores, refreshes the skin. My mom has me doing a pageant this weekend, and she said my skin looked dull. So I have to do this, and I have to go to bed early to get my beauty sleep. Your skin has never looked dull, Katya. Your skin is beautiful. It's all to my mom. So what do we have for this? Why don't you start with what you have before your mask immobilizes your face? Which will happen really soon. OK, then. Let's start. Did you read the book? Wait, where's Miriam? Miriam's not here yet. Me and Ava have been waiting like a really long time. Yeah, right. Gosh, guys, sorry I'm late. The lines at the food bank were so long. We ran out of food. It's heartbreaking. That must have been tough. It was. We need to think of a way to get more food to people. Katya, why are you doing a mask right now? Somebody else tell her. Her mom made her. She has a pageant coming up over the weekend. Can we please just get to business? Have any of you even done any work on this assignment? Anyone read the book? Do any online research? Do you guys even remember our topic? You know, the relevance of fairy and folktales? I'm going to be honest. I haven't done a thing. I never gave it a second thought. I'm really busy and I think it's a stupid assignment. Miriam! Oh, Miriam, that's so disappointing. Don't I get points for being honest? Look, I just haven't had the time. Besides volunteering at the food bank, I'm also coaching soccer at my church. Why are you even in school? I guess because it's so off. I don't think it's right. I should be able to do what I want. You seem to do what you want anyways, but whatever. What about you, Katya? Did you read the book? It's kid stuff. What? It's kid stuff. I have no idea what you're saying. Maybe try opening your mouth wider and talking slower. Kid stuff. Kid stuff? You mean fairy tales? They're really not. And I mean, that's the whole point of this assignment, to find relevance, but whatever. Ella? I tried. I did, but I just don't get it. I think that fairy tales are silly. They're just not relevant to us. I'd rather study history any day. Stuff that really happened. So none of you read The Uses of Enchantment by Bruno Bettelheim? The book we all agreed to read before this meeting? I'm sorry. Really sorry. Sorry, not sorry. My mask itching. You know, the last time I did a group project, I ended up doing almost all the work myself. I thought you guys would be different. Hi, everybody. What are we talking about? Thomas, what are you doing here? I'm Zoom bombing you. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. What's with the lizard face on Katia? It's a poor Titan mask. Never mind about that. How did you get into our meeting? By hacking into your address, finding the meeting ID and password, and logging in. So, first you bang on my door, and when I don't answer, you Zoom bomb me? I didn't bang on your door. I would have just come in without knocking. And I'm Zoom bombing you because it's fun and good practice. For your future life and crime? No. I'm going to get a job at a big firm and be their IT security guy because I'm really good at it. He is good at it. Don't encourage him. I have to go. My skin's getting all puckered. But we haven't. Well, that's just great. Well, then I'm going to go too. But we haven't done any work on this assignment. It's Monday. This is due on Friday. That's four days. 
great. It hardly seems fair for two of us to do all the work. First in, last out. <laughs> That's us. Right. Well, why don't we talk about why these fairy tales are still relevant? I would. In a heartbeat, really, I would. But I've got to go feed my fish and my cockatoo. What's the matter, Tika? Oh, you're hungry, too. Mommy didn't be thinking about you. Anyways, Ava, I've got to go. Sorry. Bye. I've got to stop doing group projects. Do you have a choice? Yes, I can work with a group or I can work solo. So, why did you choose a group project? Didn't this exact same thing happen last time? Yes. So, why don't you ever learn? Well, Thomas, I thought if I worked with a group, I could make friends. We've been at the school for three months, and I still don't have any friends. Being really unpopular must be tough. I'm not really unpopular. I just don't have any friends. Right. Unpopular. No friends. They're two entirely different things. Look, anyway, I told Mom I would go to the store and pick up milk today. I forgot, so I should probably do that before she gets home from work. Later. He's right. I'm pathetic. Thomas, stop it. I know that's you. Hello? Mom? Hello? I've really got to get some sleep. I'm so tired. I can't believe it's only Tuesday evening. No, work through it, Ava. I'll sit this weekend when I've got all my papers and studying done. Okay, let's see. Even more than at the time that these fairy tales were created, it is important to provide the modern child with images of heroes who have gone out into the world by themselves with deep inner confidence. Deep inner confidence? <laughs> wow, how must that feel? Of course, everyone's late again. We've got three days till this is due, and I'm going to end up doing all the work. And they're going to take all the credit for it, again. Is it that hard to be on time? Hello, am I late? I'm so sorry. I was doing the chores and I was sweeping the embers back into the fireplace. If I didn't and the house caught on fire, my stepmother would be so mad and she would beat me. And after that, my stepsisters would be really mad and they would beat me. So please don't be mad at me. I'm not mad and I would never hurt you, but who are you? Where's Ella? I'm right here, hello. You're not Ella. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant me. Some people do call me Ella as a nickname. Are you telling me your full name is Cinderella? Yes, it is. What is happening? Happening? I don't know what's happening, except for that there was this ball, and I had this beautiful dress. The fairy godmother made it appear on me, just like that. And then the prince danced with me round and round the ballroom. And then I ran away before he could see me in my raggedy clothes. And now I miss him. You see, I think he really likes me. He, I hear he's trying around my glass slipper on everyone in the village, but it'll only fit me because we were meant to be together. Well, that's all very interesting, but how did you... Oh no, this is not right. I look so much better than this in real life. Who are you? Excuse me? Who am I? Uh, it's just that I don't know you and... You're in my Zoom meeting, so I thought it would be good for you to introduce yourself. Did you? Yes. Okay, I'll start with introductions. I'm Ava, and I'm waiting for my classmates Ella and Katya. Katya Shmatya, I'm who's here, and you need to pay attention to me. But who are you exactly? Where's Ella? <clears throat> Stop talking. Have you seen a pretty, as in the most beautiful girl in the land, running around? No, I'm just in my room, here on my computer. I know who this is. Ava, get rid of her. We can't let her talk to us. It's Snow White's queen. She's, she's just bad and awful and worse than awful. She's, she's really, really awful. Is evil the word you're looking for? As in yep. the evil queen? That's it, how did you know? <laughs> oh boy. I know all about you, but I'm not sure I want to talk to you. Reports of my evilness have been greatly exaggerated. No, not true. I'm not exaggerating, nuh uh. You told your huntsman to bring you Snow White's heart, which means he'd have to kill her. You disguised yourself as a witch and gave her a poison apple. Look, she has one in her hand right now. Don't be ridiculous. It's not poisoned. Prove it. Take a bite. 
I'm a queen. I don't have to prove anything to anyone, but especially not to a shabby wretch such as yourself. So mean. You just hurt my feelings for no reason. That really was uncalled for. She said I tried to kill Snow White. Well, didn't you? <laughs> yes. So you're lying to us. Of course. That's what evil queens do. I told you she was awful. Snow White ended up killed. But not really killed. Just kind of in a waiting on a kiss coma. In a casket, no less. Why it makes me want to weep. So bad. So awful. So evil. Oh, buck up, Buttercup. My name is not Buttercup. It's Cinder Cinderella. Cinderella. Poor little insipid Cinderella. I don't know what insipid means. Insipid means lacking vigor or interest. I do not lack those things. The things I lack are nice shoes and good clothes, and maybe a pretty bonnet. Also, I'm lacking my true love, the prince, but I'm not lacking vigor or interest. Really? I mean, if you were so interesting, why didn't the prince remember your face? Didn't he dance with you round and round the ballroom? If you were so interesting, why doesn't he know what you look like? I don't know. I never thought about that. I didn't even remember what my face. Listen, everybody, please. I need to finish this essay on the relevance of fairy and folktales, so could you all just leave the meeting? Hey, what's going on? Robin? Robin? Are you here? I'm in a clearing of sorts with women I don't know. Tiny little women. Maid Mary? Robin's girlfriend? Oh, I think you're so great. Fire on your rage at the injustice. Don't be mad. Please don't be mad. I see I have a bow and an arrow. That's frightening. Are you mad at me? Why are you mad? I'm so much more than Robin's girlfriend. I can protect myself. I can hit the bullseye with this bow and arrow. I can outwit the sheriff of Nottingham and steal from the rich to give to the poor, all without Robin. Wow, that's really impressive. I've never heard that part of the story. That'll teach you. Write your own story. Write my own story? What do you... You hear that, Cinderella? Some people write their own story. They don't wait for a shoot, tat, and prince, or bippity boppity fairy godmother to come in and fix things for them. So mean. Why is she so mean? And why didn't the prince remember what I look like? Am I truly so forgettable? Want me to take care of it for you? I could hit her right between the- No! Or I could hit her arm, the arrow merrily causing some pain and temporary harm. And then if she didn't behave, I would take? No! All right, all right, just an option. Marrying, is it? How would you like to work for me? I need a new huntsman at my castle. I work with a band of merry men, not for royalty. Royalty is we steal from. Listen, I've loved meeting all of you, really, but I need to get to work. Hey, Marion. Marion Maiden. Hello. Robin? Robin, wow, was that you banging on my door before? Was I? I did not answer. Well, you didn't say anything. I, I said not. I knew not who was behind the door. Mayhaps it was the Bishop of Hereford or the Sheriff of Nottingham. Enemies all waiting to ambush me as I have to, as I have ambushed them in the past to steal their money. As we have ambushed them, I certainly remember being there too, Robin. There ye be, O oh sweet Marion. I feared you'd come to harm, for though I called out by his dainty name and yelled a hearty hello, answer thou did not. Be the all right, gentle Marion. Gentle? <laughs> Does he even know you? Robin, I'm fine. I can handle myself. Nay, I'm here to protect my beloved. So you're going to marry? My maid Marion, of course. She doth be my treasure. That is so romantic. It's really not. I'm not a chest full of gold knickknacks from old tire mats. Oh, the pain in my heart. Doth it yet beat? Thou slayest my heart, Marion. But surely you understand what's not my meaning. But you are a maid, and I am a man. And this be how things are. You shall have my protection whether you want it or not. I don't need your protection, Robin. Like you, I rob from the rich to give to the poor. I'm better than most with a bow and arrow and fend for myself in the forest with wild animals and all the men who would capture us.
Oh, tremulous, shy Marion, must hold you my strong manly arms. I see you yet. Can neither reach nor touch my gentle Marion. Where be ye, mental, gen gentle Marion? Where be? Wait. So you don't know where you are, yet you found your Marion? Impressive. How would you like to be my husband? I'm sure it wouldn't be hard for you to find young, one young girl traipsing about the woods. What do you say, Mr. Hug? No. 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 Nay, would I work for you? It would take me away from my sweet, revered Marion, so there I would not go for love nor money. So romantic, so valiant, so true-hearted. So tiring, so very tiring. What say you, my love? What out? What? 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 <laughs> oh, poor Robin. Your maid Mary wants out. How unfortunate. Luckily, there's still vacancy at my castle for the job of huntsman. Marion, my beloved, my faithful friend. My heart is broken in many pieces. Oh, Robin. My soul shattered, my spirit broken. Robin! Like a crusader driven back by the infidel, my hopes. Dreams crushed by a raging bull. Robin! My, by my maid Marion, the love of my life, who would be done with me? No, Robin. Stop being so overly dramatic. I didn't mean I want out of our upcoming marriage. I meant I want out of this place, wherever it is. Tis that so? You don't want out of our pending union? No, Robin. I don't want out of our marriage, which is far in the future. Don't forget. My heart revives, my spirit flies, my soul is once more warmed by the Marian sunshine. That was very poetic imagery, Robin. I'm glad you noticed. It seemed not to affect Marian much. Just so we understand each other, yes, I want out of here, so that we can be together, but not all of the time. Only when it suits the both of us. Yes, every second of every day of my life, I wish to be with you. Not the best listener, is he? Presently, I think you're coming dear. on too strong again, Robin. Presently, dear Marion, I can neither reach, I can neither reach nor touch you in this infernal land in which we now reside. It's okay. It's just Zoom. Oh, but you wouldn't know what Zoom is, and what year is it there? There, as in where you are. It's eleven eighty in the year of our Lord. It's not the same with our. Let's not get into it right now. I want out. I am tired of being ignored and having nobody bow down to me. Let me out right now. I kind of like it here. He never really saw me. He never really remembered my face. Listen, everybody, please, especially you, Robin. I think you might have listening issues. She speaks, and it is no more than utter nonsense. What she, she does with her fingers, that's like listening thing, we can talk about that when we see each other again. Release us from this imprisonment, oh villainous woman with loose hair. I cannot bear to be apart from my Marion for one more second. Let us out! Loose hair? How did I become the villain here? I'm sorry, but I can't get you out. I don't even know how you all got in. I mean, you're all just characters and stories. You aren't even real. No, I'm not real. On top of everything else. What a terrible day. You arrogant little slap girl. Slap girl? I don't know what that... Oh, Ava, I'll show you how real I am. I'm knocking my air right now. Please don't. I don't know where it would go, but I doubt it would reach me. Oh, fairy godmother, where are you? Where is she? I need her. Fairy godmother, why have you deserted me? Ugh, get me out right now. No, let me out before this drama cleaner and before Robin Peshel cling to me like moth on the north side of a tree. Fairy godmother, birds, Prince Charming, anyone? Ava, please help me. I'm sorry, but I can't help any of you. I don't know how you all got in. I was in the forest, fishing by the stream, then suddenly here I was with all of you tiny ones. I was in my castle talking to my Marion, and I too was here. I don't know where here is, but compared to my castle, it's disgusting. 
Oh, the force search made Marion. I found her. Hello, sweet Marion. It's an image. I cannot reach her. Speak, loud and loose head, strangely, strangely dressed woman. Speak! I have no idea what's going on here. What did you say? Oh? Oh, that makes sense. Of course. I'll tell everybody. Tell us what? I see. But I shouldn't tell anyone anything until the Queen has apologized to me. Really? Alright. Queen, you have to apologize to me. I really need a huntsman right now. Robin? Marion? No, I won't be your huntsman. Not now, not ever. And Cinderella's right. Apologize to her. Ugh, it's like go get me out of here. I'm sorry. I apologize. For what exactly? I don't know. For being me, I guess. I didn't even try to kill you. I don't know what you're complaining about. I forgive you, Eagle Queen. Oh, that felt good. That felt so good. Not just forgiving, but also asking. No, kind of demanding an apology as if I had a deep inner confidence. Oh my, this feels very fine. I'm glad you had that breakthrough, Cinderella, but could you tell us what your little pet told us you? Oh, yes, yes I can. Ava, my little friend said to explain to you that we're four very different characters, representing very, four very different things, and that we're all inside of you. You may choose to become one or the other of us as you grow up. It's up to you. What do you, what do you mean? She means you need to write your own story. Write it for you. What? You need to write your own story. Somebody else wrote some, my story and look where it got me. I'm not all bad, you know. Um, yes, you are. Most evil, I must say. <sighs> okay, fine, but I don't always enjoy it as much as you think. From what I can tell, Marion is writing her own story. She's out in the world doing something she believes in. Yes, I am. Thank you, Ava. Though you're so busy proving your independence that sometimes you don't see when others are trying to help you. Robin represents... Well, honestly, I'm not sure. I'm a man ruled by his heart. And luckily, you've picked Marion to love. Love picked us, not me. And blinded you from seeing her as a whole person. And the queen, she is ruled by her looks and what other people think of her looks. When she loses those looks, stop talking. And Cinderella is just waiting, waiting for her prince, waiting for her fair godmother, waiting for her stepmother and stepsisters to tell her what to do. Even her pet mouse tells her what to do. Your mouse of me is quite rude and unnecessary. <gasps> oh no, my little mouse has jumped out of my pocket. Look, everyone, look on the floor beneath your feet. You mean that? I hate animals. In fact, I'm not doing any of this anymore. I'm off to find my castle. No animals down there. Hey, the queen's gone. Everyone's gone. How did they leave? Maybe now that we've been explained to Ava, we can just leave? I'm going to leave. That way. Hey, Baron? My beloved? Hey, Baron? Where'd you go? Where thou go, I will follow. But I know not where thou went. With Marion. Marion. There you are. Now, just stay in my pocket, little mouse. Now, if I don't get home soon, my stepmother will be very mad at me for not doing my chores. Or, oh gosh, what if the prince comes to my home and I'm not there? Oh, horror. I need to remind him what I look like. Maybe I should just walk away. I'll do it. I'm going to walk away. I'm standing. I'm standing up. Look at me. How bold I'm being. I'm walking. I'm walking off. Cinderella, at least you had the guts to ask for an apology. Wait, what? Oh shoot, I must have fallen asleep. What a weird dream. Something about waiting or writing my own story. Darn it, it's fading already. And look at the time. No Ella, no Miriam, no Katya. How long do they expect me to wait? That's it, I'm not waiting for them. I'll write my own story. I swear there's something about that in my dream. 
and I know I can do this on my own. I have all these notes. I just know I'll ace the paper. Though it will cost me three potential friends. But I have to do it, don't I? I have to tell them, but I just have to work up the nerve to tell them because it'll be really hard. Thomas, not again. Hey, I do have better things to do than Zoom about my sister. But I thought I would check in and see how you're doing. I'm fine. They're all late to the meeting again. Yes, but it's really none of your business. Look, I feel invested, Ava. I know you're having a really hard time with them. Maybe if you just let me listen, I could mediate. Like Sheriff. The Sheriff of Nottingham, maybe? What? Nothing. Weird dream. I just want you to know that I can take care of myself. I know, but I can still help. Hi. Hi. I'm so sorry that we're late, Ava. Yeah, sorry. Like, early sorry. Me too. It was so irresponsible of us. It's okay, but listen, we need to talk. I... I decided to go solo on this project. Nothing personal. But why, Ava? Why would you do that? Well, I... I feel a little taken advantage of. A little? Keep quiet, Thomas. But, Ava, the assignment's due in three days. Please don't. I'm sorry, but you all being late again was just the last try, I guess. Listen, I know we're all late to this meeting, but we had a really good reason. You always have a good reason, Miriam. Really, you do, but I'm not going to do your schoolwork for you anymore. It's, it's not fair to me. Just listen, Ava. My little sisters asked me to read them a story last night, so I took the book off their nightstand. It was a book of fairy tales. Eva, I read a couple and then I couldn't stop. And today when I was working at the food bank, it hit me. So many of these stories are about food or not having food. These fairy tales were written at a time when people were starving. Unless you're nobility, you never had enough food. Look at Hansel and Gretel. The dad and Stepmom put them in the forest because they couldn't feed them. Jack and Minnie and Sock too. Jack trading his cows for beans meant they'd most likely starve. No wonder the mom was upset. It's just like today. There are people who are hungry. So, I cried about that. Maybe we can use it. I think that's great. Me too. What do you think, Eva? Well, I love it. Linking the lack of food in fairy tales to the lack of food in this community. It shows that these stories are relevant. See, the reason we were all late is that after we met with you yesterday, we realized we were being jerks. So we put our heads together and we came up with ideas. Our own ideas, not just from the book we were supposed to read. So, you're writing your own story here, not just what's in the Bettelheim book? I guess so. Katya was talking about how in fairy tales, the youngest sister is always the prettiest. And, wait, you tell her, Katya. I think it has to do with this fact that in the Middle Ages, there was this law where the older brother inherited everything, leaving nothing to his younger siblings. I told her that. She's in my history class, but she doesn't pay attention, and I just know it's going to be on the test. It's called primogeniture. Right. Thank you, Ella. You're welcome. Way past the Middle Ages, even some modern day cultures, the oldest sister has to be married before any of the others could get married. So I think in fairy tales, the storytellers make them beautiful so they have something, for a while anyway, before they get old and dried up. Which reminds me, I still have to moisturize. Anyhow, does that make sense? Very interesting theory, although some of us are the eldest and the best looking. Good one, Thomas. Don't encourage him. In my European history class, we're studying when they believe some women were witches and burned them. I got to thinking, so many fairy tales have witches, and they're almost always portrayed as old women living alone in the woods. I got to thinking, um, it must have made it easier to justify burning thousands of women as so-called witches. And I think how we still ostracize women today who are different. I want to draw a parallel to that. So, Ava, we can all work alone or we could work together and have one heck of a great project. What do you say? Well, we're truly sorry for the way we've been treating you, and hopefully we made that clear. But if you say you'll work with us, we promise we'll skip all night getting this done. What about your beauty sleep? Forget my beauty sleep. Some things are more important. And I'm skipping volunteering to do this. Ava, what do you say? Sure. Let's stay a team. 
Okay, great. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So then the three of us should sign off and get to it. Okay, guys. Send your projects to me when you're done, and I can merge all our stories together. Here we are. A modern day fairy tale. Boom! Let's sign off and meet again tomorrow at 7. Can we all be on time, everybody? Yeah. Sure thing. Bye. Okay. Bye, guys. I'm proud of you, sis. It isn't easy facing things we think are wrong. I'm proud of me, too. I followed my right way with deep inner confidence. Settleheim! You're such a nerd. I mean that in the best way. I know. Hey, I bought some cookie dough ice cream yesterday. Right now, I think the right path for us is the path to the refrigerator. You in? Yep, with confidence. See you there.